the people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot wave principle i'm your host shaheen um before we head on to our analysis section in uh, in today's video we'll uh, only look at uh, gold silver and cryptocurrency um and we'll discuss more items during the week i'll uh, put some analysis um during the week i'll try to at least uh, and uh, for reason of i'm just for personal reason uh, or time constraint you can say that I was unable to put everything all single analysis normally we discuss but during the week I'll try my best to put it on on in a couple of days so a lot of you guys are new um, I did introduce my, myself um, but uh, a lot of people probably didn't see that video first of all my name is Mohammed Shaheen Olasad I'm from Pakistan originally I have uh, spent time about uh, 8 to 10 years in England uh, and Scotland. I have a master's degree in software engineering from Bradford University, England. I have a bachelor's degree in computer sciences uh, from Pakistan, uh, Islamic Ball Open University. And I have moved from England to Canada in the last 5-6 years. And I fell in love with the markets about uh, when I was doing my master's. Uh, that was back in I think 2018 ish so even before I think so 16 ish eight, 17 yeah, I would say so I would f I fell in love with the markets around 2017 ish and what did I do I, I lost a lot of money I didn't know there was something uh, called technical analysis at that time honestly but as time went to go went along uh, I started studying and uh, y the funny thing about the stock market analysis or technical analysis of any other market is that uh, the material nobody is going to give you the, the, the recipe for the success because uh, the whole point is to find an edge and then use that edge in your favor and there are different theories that are uh, uh, there are theories that's what they are called for the theory is not called proof nor a theorem or something like that which we consider like a, a unified universal truth or something these are theories and all all these theories are available in books so i went on i read regular technical analysis that involved uh, resistance and support and about 15 to 20 i want to say 15 to 20 or maybe 8 to 10 uh, different technical indicators, RSI, uh, and moving averages, uh, bands of moving averages, and o oscillators, and all these things. I studied every as much as I could, and then I moved on. I found Elliott Wave Analysis. I I spent a lot of money and a lot of time on Elliott Wave Analysis. Um, a lot of more of the most of the recent work is available from Practor on Elliott Wave Analysis. Uh, practice himself is uh, is not the original source uh, of Elliott Wave Analysis, but he did uh, some major work and is the person we can say responsible for uh, introducing it to the major part of the world. And he, he did a pretty good job, you know, you, you find something useful and you try to spread it to the world. And doing so, he, he uh, you know, he became rich. Good, good, really good effort, a brilliant effort. You know, a lot of people around the world found out about uh, Elliott Wave analysis only because of his his works. So I I had paid subscription uh, from his uh, uh, services and the website and a couple of um, two three uh, I would say two two analysts work on on the for the services. I got in touch with them. I was a, a regular viewer of their content. That's how I learned. You know. So I was used to love draw all fancy things on the chart, you know, for example, like right over here, we have a parallel channel right over here, I would go, okay, this is a zigzag, this needs to be flat, this needs to be this, uh, the alternation rule, I would d use Fibonacci analysis in replacement and in extension uh, and all that of analysis and I would do degree analysis and I would say, okay, wave two is not going beyond wave one and uh, triangle and a flat correction time went on I studied more I um, found out more about the market I studied more I have a, a complete study of Elliott wave analysis as I said that I read I followed them for a good while I read their content I bought their content so I, I did 
I think I covered every single uh, bit of their content that's available. Uh, I have still um, present, uh, it's pr still present in my library. Then I went on, I moved forward, and um, I was introduced uh, with the name of W.D. Gann, one of the most amazing analysts. And Elliot was an amazing analyst, you know. I looked at an Elliot, I not only read uh, Practor's work on Elliot, I also read Elliot's own work, his own books, which are also available uh, from the same publisher. Uh, and that's a really good thing. So I, I read his original work. And then I read uh, W.D. Gann's original work. There is a lot of stuff going on, but there there is a lot of content that's available only from William Delbert Gann. And, um, you know, my, my jaw just dropped after reading his material. Uh, so, you, you know, first time you read it, two times, even after reading ten times, you are not sure what the heck is this guy talking about. I went on and did a, a lot of study on box theory. There's not a lot. There's only hardly one book. So I did study that. I did study Banner as Prophecies, which is once again is not a lot. It's just a book. So all of these uh, and Doe himself. So uh, all of these content, technical analysis, the traditional technical analysis, all the head and shoulder patterns, the inverted head and shoulder patterns, the wedge, uh, you know, the technical indicators, the Elliott wave analysis. Uh, WD GAN analysis, Banner's studies, box theory, if you put them all together, it's just, you know, your mind cannot make sense of it. So, uh, I'm, a lot of you guys are new. I wanted to introduce all of you guys to myself that I try to do my due diligence uh, on in presenting the market view. I have, it's a, once again, it's, it's a personal view. It's not copied from anywhere. It's my own research. It's not. It's. It's not guaranteed that the priority is going to move in that direction. If it was a guarantee, I would definitely be a billionaire already, and I'm not. Not even close to a millionaire. So you know, uh, there is always, always uh, room for improvement in analysis. There is always room for study, uh, for knowing more. And once again, all these things are theory. There is nothing mathematical uh, proof. Uh, most of you guys, I'm pretty sure, went through school and studies mathematics so mathematical uh, rules and regulations are proven and uh, none of these things are proven the only one work um, GAN was very very accurate the problem is no one knows the uh, the hundred percent work of GAN there's some clues left by him and a lot of people have uh, taken there are two major ways a lot of people try to use uh, one way or the other which is cycle analysis itself uh, combined with what he did uh, his scientific view of it and a lot of people think all right you know uh, looking at uh, different cycles from the planetary cycles is also scientific so they consider it as part of studies anyway enough of it uh, I've bored you guys enough I have done a lot of studies the point here is that I try my best to present my own view and once again it's a view is an opinion um, using my own uh, knowledge it will be wrong i'm not saying it could be it will be wrong it's a, it's a statistical uh, look at the things so you, you you're posting analysis of so many things it's going to be wrong somewhere it's going to be get wrong so be really careful use money management and use it on your own discretion if someone loved my content i really appreciate that if someone hates it there's nothing i can do about it so nfa in today's video, we are going to discuss gold, silver, and Bitcoin. Uh, um, and uh, we had a previous, I told you guys gold would go down. Over here, I realized that I was expecting gold to always go down. But then when we realized a very accurate pattern in silver, I updated you guys and then it will go up. And then that's what we are right now. So a lot of time when you look at our analysis, uh, our brands are amazing things. They look at something, oh, it's pretty easy. So what would you analyze? about gold and silver from here I'll give you just 30 seconds you can pause the video find out what do you think is going on in the market and I'll give you my analysis and I guarantee you it is going to um, it is going to surprise you alright so you have 30 seconds you can pause the video you can uh, get your analysis and then you'll realize that a lot of time when brain says oh I knew that well, you know it's not really true our brains are amazing things. Uh, so here it is, 30 seconds of press. 
and here is my analysis so I think next uh, two weeks are going to be really really interesting and the reason is because price of gold is going to go jump up and down and this is what I'm looking at right now I'm expecting that we're gonna see something like this uh, in you know probably not as wide in terms of time let's bring it together a bit and that's what I'm seeing right now next uh, two three days are going to be something interesting then I'm looking at, at something like this to about 1920 right over here 1910 to 1920 is going to be the target uh, somewhere around this <coughs> okay now your point is what is this why am I looking at maybe a smaller wave one and smaller two uh, a smaller one and a smaller two <coughs> uh, thank you and another thing is that a lot of you guys know I had a, a throat uh, infection about a month ago I had a sore throat I went through hell uh, not hell thanks God you know people get ill people get sick and that's what I was uh, I was ill and I'm still a bit I'm trying to recover you can hear me coughing from time to time um, I hope that that is not going to be a problem and I can guarantee you I'm not eating while I'm making <laughs> these videos so this is what I'm looking at right now we have a V C structure I believe that this self is going to be a three wave of a larger uh, one wave this is going to be one wave of a larger pattern and this is also going to be a one wave of larger pattern and this is wave C is going to be larger pattern so I think that we are looking for an expanded flap in which wave A is a zigzag wave B is either a single or double zigzag in which we are looking at the middle section to be a flat correction so you can consider it as a five wave structure correction another five wave structure or you can consider it as a zigzag uh, correction another zigzag and you're looking for a five wave structure here right now that will complete uh, the pattern that actually started right from over here uh, I think that should take about um, eight to ten trading days or maybe six to ten trading days about six to ten trading days so this is what I'm anticipating right now um, and we'll discuss more if things go let's see uh, that if things go do not as planned we definitely discuss more which brings to a point there's a solid possibility that we have created a bottom right over here in gold there is a solid possibility that we have created a bottom here that would bring us to wave one and wave two but we'll discuss wave two is complete after it is complete but right now I'm looking at as an uh, uh, this so next few days are going to be really really especially this wave is going to upset a lot of people let's have a look at silver now silver is a little more in the regard that we have already completed the uh, wave A right over here so A wave B and wave C which is itself an expanded flat right from over here and then this is what we are looking for we are looking in a correction where wave A is an expanded flat wave B is a zigzag and then wave C is going to be a five wave structure in this case wave C is expanded is expected to go further deeper further deeper uh, somewhere in this region starting from right over here so I'm expecting that we have only seen part of wave B and then we are expected to see a flat correction and see price will go up find some resistance in this region right over here and then come all the way back right at the uh, forming almost a double bottom right over here too so this is an important distinction uh, in and please keep in mind while price market is here it can penetrate this point so we cannot use this in a, as a refer reference point in our um, in our future uh, trading right over here so what would that mean it would mean that we are looking for let's say the price penetrates from over here in that case we would change the labeling of it we will make it a W an X and a Y and a 5 wave structure downward so all Elliott wave analysis is very a uh, very uh, you know you gotta be very sensitive to all the information that you get 
Uh, so I hope that next few days these things will come true. Uh, let's have a look at Bitcoin. A lot of you guys are probably hopefully remember that I gave a forecast about Bitcoin that it will go up and come down. Like I told you guys, if you, and you don't have to believe my word on it. I told you guys that you're looking for an A, a B, and a C structure. And a, this is what's trading right over here, I think. I'm like, we're going to go up and calm down. That's exactly what we are seeing right now. Right now, we are looking for next few weeks to be right over here. Not few weeks. I would say next few trading days. I won't say two, three. I'm not sure. But the next move that we're looking for is right over here. And give me a moment. I want to show you guys the moment of truth. We are right now very, very close to the previous top right over here too. There is a strong possibility. And this is my analysis once again. This is a buy problem that I'm expecting a major, major turn. I'm expecting that the correction actually started either from over here or over here is going to be complete right over here. And then you're going to see a major run in prices in cryptocurrency. So that's my analysis. Uh, I wish you uh, take benefit from it. I wish you uh, good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.